Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at three different popcorn products to see how they actually work. So let's get right to it. First up here are the three contenders. First up in the center here, this is the Ecolution popcorn maker that goes in the microwave. This was sent to my P.O. box many months ago. I've been kind of hanging on to it. It turns out it's the number one seller on Amazon with over 60,000 reviews. Uh, this model is only 13 bucks. This is their snack size. They also have a larger model. Next over here is the Dash popcorn ball maker. I've never made popcorn balls before, so it sounds kind of pretty fun. I've used a lot of Dash products, had good luck with them. I paid 20 bucks for a four pack. I've got one right here. I've got one right here. I've got the rest of the boxes right here. This currently has a 4.6 star rating on Amazon, so it's pretty popular. And finally over here, this is kind of the wild card. This is the Cherry Lane popcorn pods. They say it's a new way to make popcorn. It kind of looks like one of those rice cakes you put in a pot, warm it up and it makes popcorn. Reviews are kind of mixed in this one, so we shall see. I'm gonna start in the center here, move these out to the side, and I'm gonna do the popcorn maker first. Now, the way this one works is you have this lid here, and there's a, a fill line, and I measured that's about one-sixth of a cup, so not a lot. Uh, so you put the popcorn in there uh, to measure it out. You can optionally put butter in here, but I'm gonna do a batch without the butter first because the butter options seem kind of mixed reviews on Amazon. Some people said the butter would burn. Some people said it would make your popcorn soggy. Others said that it resulted in less popped kernels. So we're gonna do a batch without the butter, and then one with. So all we're supposed to do is fill this up and that's it. Not a lot. It doesn't hold much. Only about one sixth of a cup. Replace the lid and put in the microwave. They say put it in for about three minutes, but listen to it and make sure it's not burning. So let's head to the microwave and put it in there. And we're off. We're only about a minute and a half in and it sounds like it's almost done. All right, that was only about a minute and 40 seconds. Uh, the handle is not hot, so that's good. It does look mostly pop. Let's check it out. And the lid is not hot either. Let's pour it in here. There's a couple of unpopped kernels in here, but not bad. I would say it doesn't make a lot, but it's a good snack size amount of popcorn. Let's see what we got here. I mean, it's popped, but it needs something. All right, so it certainly popped it. it most of the kernels are popped in here and it tastes fine. It needs a little salt, but let's let it cool down and try the butter option and see how that works. All right, it is cooled back down to room temperature. Let's try it now with butter and see how that goes. But now we're gonna add a pat of butter to the top here. This is what we've got, it's going in the microwave. We shall see. I'm really curious about this butter based on some of the comments I read. It looks like oh, about a minute in, the butter seems to be already gone. All right, it seems like it took a little bit longer. Maybe the butter uh, affected the temperature of it. Let's see what we got here. The butter's definitely gone. Right, here we go. All right, well, you know what? The, I would say the butter is not burnt and it doesn't seem like it affected the popcorn that much. It maybe take a, a 10 seconds longer. I don't really think it, it came out burnt or anything. A lot of people seem to have a problem with it. I, I'm not able to duplicate that problem. To me, it looks fine. Does it taste buttery at all? A little bit, maybe I needed more butter. No, maybe it wasn't enough. It's a light butter flavor. I, I like it. I think it came out good. And so why did I not have a problem while a lot of people on Amazon did? Maybe I didn't use as much butter as they do. That could have some effect on it. If you only want a small amount of butter like I used, it seemed fine. I think it works pretty well. So let's move on to the next item. All right, it's time for the popcorn ball maker now. Now I've had a lot of luck with Dash products, so I have high hopes for this one. So for the popcorn ball maker, all you're supposed to do is mix up your recipe, use the base to scoop up some popcorn, twist the lid on top, and optionally add a popsicle stick. When you're done, put them on wax paper and that's it. Now I need kind of a big batch of popcorn. So the first popcorn maker really doesn't fit the bill. I have to let that one cool down between uses. It would take too long. So I'm going to use my stir crazy to make a big batch of popcorn for the popcorn balls. First up, make a half a cup of popcorn kernels. Next up, I have to melt three tablespoons of butter and two cups of mini marshmallows and pour it over the popcorn and mix them up. All right, now we're supposed to use the base to scoop out some popcorn and the lid to smash it down. You twist it and supposedly we'll have a popcorn ball. Let's see. Well, not, not bad really. Let's try another one. I guess you could just use the same one over and over again. You don't have to use multiples. All right, scooping it out. Oh, I got a big mess right there. Oh man, I am making a mess. All right, twist. I'm gonna put a popsicle stick in here this time. And then you can just remove the cap. Oh, I got a big mess. All right, I'm gonna let these cool, but I think they came out pretty good actually. What do you guys think? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Someone in the comments said you could do it just as easy by hand. Let's try that out. Well, it's a lot, a lot messier, I can already tell. I can already tell, let's see. 
you know what? It's, it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as good by hand. And my hands are messy. I think the popcorn ball maker is superior to using it by hand. It's very simple and very quick. Right, those are my three contenders. I did that one by hand. It doesn't look terrible, but it was definitely messier. Here's the one with the popsicle stick, which looks pretty nice. And here's the one without. It's pretty simple, but I do think the popcorn ball maker does work. What do you guys think? Now, last but not least, let's try the popcorn pods. Now, as far as the instructions go, you're just supposed to put it in a pot, cover it while letting the steam escape and let it go about four to eight minutes. Let's take a look at one of these here. Okay, I've got four different flavors. Let's just grab the butter flavor out of here. That's what it looks like. Nice packaging, I'll say that. Now I paid $11.50 for a four pack, so that means each one of these is kind of expensive. Oh wow, it's kind of a, a buttery feeling, like almost like a rice cake. It kind of a, has a slick feel to it. So all I'm supposed to do is put this in a pot and warm it up. Very interesting. All right, let's head over to the stove and put it in there and see what happens. All right, so we're just supposed to put it in the bottom there and cover it up, medium to low heat. So uh, let's see what happens. And the instructions don't say you're supposed to stir it or anything like that. You just put it in there and wait four to eight minutes. All right, it seems like that outer coating of butter is starting to melt. I'm starting to see just a, the first signs of activity in there. I'm going to give you the play-by-play -play here of this uh, popcorn pod. It looks like the, uh, the edges are kind of breaking off a little bit too. Oh yeah, they're breaking off. Right, we're starting to get a little bit of sizzle down at the bottom there. Uh, our first pop, three and a half minutes. Right, we're definitely going now at the four minute mark. We're making progress. Smells good. I can definitely smell a, a butter popcorn smell. I think we're just about done at the nearly five minute mark. Bailey loves when I drop some, don't you Bailey? I right, here we go, it's, it looks good, it smells good. Let's take a taste and see what we got. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's good, that's, that's very good. Oh, good flavor, very buttery. Not a lot of unpopped kernels either. I mean, it's, it's about one big bowl full. I like the process. The, the taste is very good. The amount is fine. I like everything about this except for the price. But let's, uh, let's recap all these items we tested here. Now, as far as the e collution popcorn microwave maker goes, I think it worked very well. I used a very small amount of butter and it didn't have a problem with that. Some people seem to have problems with larger amounts, I guess. It doesn't make a lot, but they do have a bigger size. The butter might be an issue if you put too much on there, but overall, I think it works quite well. It's pretty cheap as well. Now, as far as the popcorn ball maker goes, I mean, I think, look at that, it looks great. I think that actually came out pretty nice. It was much more elegant than doing it by hand. I'm not sure you need four of them though. You can just use the same one over and over again. So I guess if you have multiple people doing it, you need four, but really you only kind of need one. But if you're in the market to make popcorn balls, this might be a relatively cheap, an effective option. This was just one of many recipes they have, by the way. Now that it's cooled off, let me try it. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, as far as the popcorn pods go, I, th I really like everything about it. The only thing I didn't like about it is the price. That seemed to be the main concern people online as well. If they could bring this price down, I think they'd be onto something. But almost three bucks for one bowl of popcorn? No matter how good it is, and it's pretty good, that's gonna be a tough sell. But that's all I've got. If you've tried any of these popcorn products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.